Okay, so today we are back looking at the charts, okay, because we just had a very good Wednesday. We shorted a uh, pound yen twice. So if you're in a premium group, you would have uh, took both shots and you would make uh, quite good money off uh, this one pair. So today I want to just share with you our thought process on why we took this trade. Let us know if you like more of this kind of videos, like kind of like after the trade happens, we come up with a video to explain uh, why we actually uh, do what we do. Okay, so just a bit sick, but uh, just bear with me, okay? So you can see as obvious as it gets, right? Uh, we are in a downtrend. Okay, one of the things that we always emphasize is uh, fundamentals, right? The one of the fundamental things we always look at is trend. So the question we ask ourselves is, is this an uptrend or a downtrend? As, in, as obvious as it can get, this is a downtrend. If you have not watched our previous video about the market structure as well as trends, definitely go watch it. I mean, it's, it's available on, on our YouTube channel, right? Just, just go watch it, okay? So now that we know that uh, this is a downtrend, okay? The next thing that we want to see is, uh, of course, uh, support and res resistance level, okay? Um, because just because it's downtrend doesn't mean uh, we want to be selling low, okay? Because if, let's say, you sell over here, you, if you have a stop loss just above, like somewhere here, you'll probably be stopped out. So it makes sense for us to find good levels. So uh, we always like to use, uh, you know, like trend lines, you know, we like to use our channels. Uh, same thing, our previous video, we have uh, talked about drawing uh, equal distance channel. You can just check that out uh, when you're free. So the first thing we see is that, uh, you know, we just draw it here. Okay. You see that uh, actually this was broken and uh, it's retested. So one of the rules we like to apply when drawing our trend lines is that uh, we like the uh, candle, as in we like the line to cut as much, uh, to touch as much uh, candles as possible. So compared to this versus this, uh, we think that this is a better trend line because it touches more. Okay, but as a general rule of thumb, we don't like the trend line to cut the candle body. So you see in this case, it doesn't, I mean, it barely cuts the candle body, right? We don't do things like this. You see, it cuts the body a lot. So we prefer to keep it uh, like this. But of course, this comes with experience. So you can see that, uh, you know, price spike here. Okay, uh, that was, I think, on uh, Tuesday when the market went a bit crazy, right, due to the Trump news. So uh, this high is obviously very, very important. Okay, so the next question is, uh, we know that this level, but uh, let us check the market structure. So you see that um, this whole zone over here is very, you know, you're not too sure where it's exact level. So this is uh, one trick that we taught in our previous video and I'd like to just share with you. This trick is very powerful because it gives you the precise level. Um, for us, we like precision, so we always look at, uh, try to get nail the level. Although uh, support resistance level, I never... Uh, a single level but a zone. So let me just show you the trick. So the trick is to actually switch to line chart. Okay. So uh, you, okay, you draw a horizontal line, turn the magnet on, and just find the closest that uh, you know is is the most relevant. So in this case, would probably be about this level because it touches uh, this and this. Okay. So uh, let me just change this color so that uh, it's easier to see. Just change it orange. Okay, orange. Switch it back. Okay, so you see over here that uh, this is the exact uh, level. Okay, this is the exact uh, resistance level that we're looking at. So when we saw this candle over here, okay, this candle over here that price, you know, close, close below this this level. 126.57, we tested it and had this kind of like a doji, right? It's kind of like a pin bar, right? But it's basically an inside bar. So we decided, okay, we'll short it over here, which is our entry over here. Okay. And our take profit will, of course, uh, lower here. 128.18, which is actually the this level because the H4 hasn't shown uh, hasn't shown signs of bearishness. So we figured, okay, we're going to take some profits off here. And if you look left, this level is actually coincides with uh, this, uh, you know, this low here. So it's more prudent to take some profits. Okay, and of course, the next level is uh, just took it a bit here, a bit lower. Okay, a bit lower. How did we get this level? Let me just see if I can show, show it to you. How did we get this level? Okay, let me see. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Okay. So sometimes our projections we use a fit. Okay, maybe in our next video we'll show you uh, how we find our levels. So uh, we actually just look at the uh, you know projection of this level, this this uh, move over here. Okay, and uh, we look at the one point two seven two. But of course, uh, we don't want to take profit off uh, you know the exact level. You always want to put a buffer, so we just shift it up a bit, uh, so that we always uh, get get out with a profit. Okay, so currently maybe uh talk more about uh the this trade okay we still see that uh, there's room for it to go down especially when the h4 candle is like that you can see that uh this levels one to seven point eight six uh is acting as a resistance okay so our stop loss is really shifted to break even so we are trying to gun for the final target so um yeah that sounds up this rounds up this video uh, i hope that this video has been beneficial for you Okay, so if you have not watched our other videos, make sure you do subscribe to our content because we'll be creating more uh, content like this to help you in your development at, into a profitable trader. So till then, we'll see you in the next video.